We're live. Happy 4th, or May the 4th. Be with you. It, uh, we just made some fun little crafts with my little guy. <laughs> we made these lightsabers out of paper towel, or I mean a uh, wrapping paper. I had some extra ones. And he wanted to pose for me Mom, while I take died. his picture. He died because he touched his heart. <laughs> while I took a picture of Yoda soda. So here you can have your Yoda soda back. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Janet. Smash the like button. Yes. Hey, James. Okay, that can't go there because I'm going to be using that area behind me. Hi, Charles. Um, May the 4th, look at Ezra's got his little lightsaber we just made. If you're on my Instagram, you probably just saw the picture about an hour ago. Okay, come on now. <laughs> hi, Sandy. Tammy, hi. Hi, Amy. And Cindy. It's, kind, it's becoming beautiful. Hi, Mina. I should include my kids. Somebody just commented on my my Instagram posts, and you're right. I do include them more often. But some of the things that I, he is so dang adorable, you're right, Charles, <laughs> Ezra is, um, is some of them is cooking. It's that they're, sometimes they're interested, sometimes they're not. Hi, Tammy. And I'm so happy everybody's here today. Hi, Grateful. I think Grateful told me her name before. Did you tell me your name before? I'm trying to remember everybody's names. Hi, Ann. Yay, you made it. You know, I did some shopping this morning, too. I had to get some things ready for the classroom. In fact, I am in an extremely busy time of year where these next couple of weeks are like closing out my classroom. And we have a performance. Michelle, yes. Thank you for reminding me. Grateful Michelle, I'll remember. Um, Kylie, hi Kylie. Oh, that's the secret announcement, not the special announcement. I'll talk a little bit more in, in that about that in a minute, Charles. Hi Rachel. And so I'm just trying to clean, you know, close up the classroom so that I make presents for the kids at the end of the year. I, um, I have a program that we're doing, like a graduation, and then they do plays. So I have costumes to make. I have um, ongoing projects in the classroom that need to be finished. Then they have like these folders they take home with all the stuff that they've done. Hey guys, yeah. maybe after the live, okay? okay? Yeah, Paul's with me, he doesn't have to. <laughs> he doesn't have to um, go to work today, so that's great. Come down to San Diego. You know, um, we're talking about going to Southern California uh, because uh, we might go to Disneyland. Well, thinking about it. Smoking ribs. Look at that. I'm impressed, Amy. That's awesome. So anyways, that's why I was out shopping today because I was like going to a teacher supply store and then picking up a couple of things here and then... We have a couple of friends whose kids are graduating, and so I have some ideas, little um, fun activities for them. Maybe I'll make a little video because it is so fun. Um, so, but today I am going to be making a super easy craft, as you can see from the the thumbnail, is flowers. So when I was younger, my mom every so often she would get like um, tissue paper, and I was like, wow, and she would make these uh, flowers. She just made really big flowers. And so I saw that the DIY mommy recently had this really simple craft with making little roses. Let me know in the comments if you follow the DIY mommy. She is amazing. And I get lots of inspiration from her. We did watch the Avengers. Of course, we watched it that weekend and we ended up going at like a 9.30 showing, because that's the only time we could go. Hi, Rhonda. So yeah, we did that, we love it, we're still talking about it. 7 p.m. for me, is that when you're going tonight, or you already went and saw a seven o'clock showing? So yeah, so let me show you, oh, you went already, okay, so our favorite, I mean, obviously, it was just amazing, we loved it so much. 
Um, up to this point, I think I've seen all of those movies like in sequence, not like in not sequence in order. Um, but I hadn't seen the Captain Marvel one. <laughs> Charles, you better hurry up because I have a feeling you already know what some of that stuff that's going down. Because how could you not? Everyone's already talking about it online. So you better hurry up and get going. Hi, Regina. <laughs> We're not going to talk about anything on that movie because today's May 4th. So if you're Star Wars fans, let me know in the comments because we are going to have a little bit of fun uh, today, even after I showed already that we made uh, lightsabers out of paper, um, the wrapping paper tubes. We painted some and um, well, I, you know what? We should ask Paul, Amy, that that question about special Mother's Day plans. But I am going to make a video about something you could do for your own mothers. Um, and so we also made Yoda soda for my kids this afternoon, too. But I am going to have something for Mother's Day. It's coming up, and I can't wait. <laughs> Stop pressuring. So it's just the easy stuff. Come on, you guys. Don't we moms want a very clean house? <laughs> well, then uh, your kids need to get busy. <laughs> so let me show you a little bit. Just making sure Paul remembers. <laughs> yes, thank you, Michelle. Happy Star Wars Day. Yes, Tammy. So the DIY mommy had these really super cute... Um, roses that I thought that I would try to make a bunch of them for our class because we've already started making our Mother's Day presents in our class. Do you want to see them? Okay, I don't know if any of my moms are watching, but oh well. So they did the little hand prints. <laughs> and it says, this little hand stole my heart. So we're going to wrap these up. And I thought we could add a little bit of a flower with each one. So this is just a, a skewer. And all I did is just uh, snip the tip of it off so it doesn't have a pointy top. Thank you guys. Thank you. And so all you need is a streamer. They come in so many different colors. And at the Dollar Tree or Dollar Stores, 99 cent stores, they usually come in a two pack. So I, I got pink ones and I got red ones. And so all you have to do is start off with a, like a strand like this, just like six inches, five inches, few inches, just enough to wrap around. So you, <laughs> she is the mother of your children though, Gladys said, thanks Gladys. And did you see this, Michelle? Did you see this craft? And so you're just gonna put some tacky glue on the bottom here and wrap it around. And so you can see there's your beginning point. And then what you're doing is cutting. I cut about 25 squares. So easy. 25 squares. And then you're going to um, see how they vertically go up like this. You fold it in half and you just kind of rough cut a petal. It's, whoa, hi, it's raining pet confetti. <laughs> Something very similar, yes. Dinner will be ham. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> so we're just going to cut out little rough petals. And then you're going to like just kind of pull them out. So it has a more realistic look to it. You're right. It would totally look so cute with some glitter spray. You're right. And then um, you need to use a tacky glue from like I, I love Aline's glue. Every year we have a Star Wars party. <gasps> Jeannie, Janine, I keep dropping the top, sorry. That's awesome, I love that you have a party. Do you watch movies too? I didn't get to read it all. That would be so awesome. Uh, so we're gonna use a tacky, tacky glue. So your Elmer's isn't gonna work because it's gonna go right through the paper. But the, with these, you're just going to put a little bit of the tacky glue on. Let me see if I can do it up high. <laughs> and then just kind of go like this. So you're just going to kind of alternate. And it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what's really cool about this. So now the next one, I'm just going to put it over the other way to kind of seal it. Hi, Jill. Did you see what that uh, Jan does for her Star Wars party? 
Yeah, like all of those ingredients, all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. I think I feel like we've done that for a kid's birthday party or something. Oh, okay, Pinewood so, Derby. Oh, Pinewood Derby. I was in charge of the Pinewood Derby a couple of years ago at church. And uh, it was on May 4th. So, you know, it was all like, it was awesome. Hi, Envy. Oh, oh happy birthday, Jill. On May 4th, even. That is awesome. You can have fun with that kind of birthday party. I think, uh, I keep feeling like I'm saying her name wrong. Jean? Jean. Jean. Or Jean. She has awesome plans for you. <laughs> yes, everybody, let's tell Jill happy birthday. That's awesome. So we're um, just putting these little flowers together. And then the more you put on, all you're doing is just kind of cinching it at the bottom. Oh, you guys. Hi, Cindy. We're telling Jill happy birthday. <laughs> you know, Jill, <laughs> I understand you, but... It's still, yeah, you're never too old. You can have birthday lunches and birthday dinners. In fact, as adults, we can even include, like, it is a day. It's like an event. <laughs> never too old. That's what I'm saying. So after you get these going, you just kind of get a rhythm. So I realized that if I cut the 25 at, at first and then I trimmed them at first, then I could get them going and I had a system. And it was pretty fast. I mean, like maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So you're just going to get it. Your, your fingers are going to be covered in glue, just FYI. But it'll peel right off. So this is going to just kind of keep going. And it's kind of nice to have some of that imperfection, like how I couldn't get it to roll down. That's okay. That's right, Sandy. It's all, birthdays are all about you, definitely. And so um, you're just going to keep going and keep going with the 25 until you have, voila. So it's so cute because it's going to be like, let it dry for a couple hours, walk away from it, start another one. And then um, when it's dry, the bottom, you can hear it's pretty crunchy. There's a way to put, um, you can hot glue some green ribbon. You have unbirthdays. That's so Alice in Wonderland of you, Charles. Or you could um, even paint this. I would consider doing that as well if I was going to put it in a vase to display. But I think because I'm just going to add it into a gift, the little gifts that the kids are doing, it's just going to be tied up in it. I think it'll be okay. So I'm just going to use like some, um, like maybe a really sharp, some sharp scissors and try to turn that down. I'm sure Paul's got a tool I could use for it. So that'll be super cute. And you could put them in a display, a vase, if they're a little bit shorter. Now you can buy these sticks shorter and it would be super cute like in a little pot or vase or something. So fun. So when they're dry though, you can fluff them down. The Zip Fizz is so good, I re-recommend them. You know, I we have friends that like them a lot. <laughs> but, and they're good for B12 from what I see, right? So some of those, uh, you know, I just got, for my, my, my mentality, my clarity, I am, I go, 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 and then crash usually. So like this morning I went, go, go, go. And there was like a lull around one o'clock and my mind just starts getting really tired. And I have to sit down, put my head down and then I get back up again and like power naps. Who power naps here? I don't get to do them every day, but. <laughs> I, is it my sisters and I have birthday weeks. Yes, right? That's what I learned from my, my mother-in-law too. How fun. <laughs> okay, I wish we could get in here. Okay, I've had a B12 inject. Isn't that what we've had at that one clinic? Yeah. Yeah, we've had B12 injections. They have them here too. That was HIV. <laughs> um, I love PFB. <laughs> We're really, really great friends with them. So... In fact, they were the ones who got me started on my channel. Aw, thanks, James. So you just fluff that down going. And then you can just kind of make it as you wish. Nice and fluffy. I wish I, I had been able to find some coral colored ones because I am loving some of these. Uh, are they called rinoculus? Rinoculus. Construction paper. It was that harder to use because the material was thicker. This is kind of more crepe paper-ish or tissue paper-ish. 
well, this is crepe paper, but I think you can do it with tissue as well. Just like a strip. Yeah, I, I could understand why. Uh, thanks, Charles. Yeah, we have, in fact, we were with them last night. So <laughs> if you saw them at the baseball game, it was because we took them. <laughs> <laughs> they are spoil sports <laughs> at Sandy. What'd your mom say? Um, my mom said, months would be awesome, but most folks won't play along. Yeah. I remember when I first married Paul, um, we, I, I just remember his sister having balloons delivered to her room in school, like one of her classes from the principal because her mother, which is my mother-in-law, was friends with the principal. So it was kind of a big deal to do that. And uh, it was a lot of attention and they loved it. I thought that was so cute. Hi, Cindy. How's everybody's afternoons going? Anybody doing anything special this weekend? I think I'm on a creative like kick or something because I can't rest because my mind is like boom, 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 boom. I have so much relaxing I wish I could just sit and relax because <laughs> well I tried to take a little power nap like I was just trying to I was just like, ex explaining that and I couldn't because I have ideas for um, videos I'm gonna shoot in the next few days and then I have um, some special announcements that I wanted to make I have end of the year stuff I have a lot going on in my little brain <laughs> so we are I have to take my younger brother to the DMV. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> baseball. You know, my mother-in-law loves baseball. Are you watching a game too, Sandy? Relaxing today, grandsons. Aw. They also like the Cubs. Yeah, my mother-in-law loves the Cubs. Relaxing today, Doctor. Yeah, we love the Dodgers. We actually, we went to, it's um, the game that we went to, the Aviators, are they... Uh, a minor league for the Dodgers? For the Oakland A's. Oh, for the Oakland A's. So we went to um, a minor league. It was the Aviators. It was a lot of fun because it was a brand new stadium. Going to the movies tomorrow to see the new movie. Are you talking about Endgame? Not yeah, California is ridiculous with the DMV. Nevada has it like scheduled. Like you, if you plan it and you can go, I have a watching Cubs and right now oh going to a Dodgers game in July woo, woo. what's the free giveaway do you know Sandy so we went to the aviators game and it was in a brand new stadium and how Vegas is this you guys they had a swimming pool from one of the decks so you could have like a private party and watch the game going on so Vegas I tell you but the seats were great they were like netting it was awesome everybody like tina and danny and, and paul and i were like you know nothing ached when we got up it was great so it was a lot of fun we had a good time to go to the baseball game would be fun right in july or have you ever been to a game a cubs game Anne? now sandy you've done some spring training right you've gone to is it arizona for spring training camps is that with the cubs Oh, you guys, I'm so impressed how much you guys know or love baseball. The only thing I really liked watching, yeah, is um, Dodger games. And that's because I'm from California. And I used to, they're mean. <laughs> I guess they're spirited, right? <laughs> but we, I went, um, because I'm from the Southern California area, my softball team was called the Dodgerettes. And we would go um, and do fundraisers with the Dodgers and pass out the freebies. So that might be like a, whenever you see freebies being passed out, it may be a fundraising group there. And I just remember a couple of times we got uh, pieces that we could wear with our uniforms, like the, the tube socks that went up to our knees with the blue stripes and said Dodgers on it. So we added that into our uniforms. It was a lot of fun. Jet Hawks baseball team down the street sitting here crocheting my my aunt is a crocheter 
We are also going to the Red Sox game this year in Boston. I can't wait to hear about that. That's okay, James. I'm just glad you're here now. <laughs> I don't think you're mean either, Edie. <laughs> um, are you crocheting by chance? We have a couple of friends on here that are crocheting. It's probably like a pastime, crocheting and watching baseball games and watching Inez's life. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad, Amy. So let me tell you a little bit about my announcement. And as you could guess, Charles is like, when can I buy your shirt? So I am getting shirts made and I'm super excited. I had a company approach me and they're going to do a two week ordering. So they call it a campaign and it's a two week ordering and it's going to be, I got to pick the design. I got to pick what I'm going to put on it. And, um, so, and I'll have a link. It, it should hopefully come out sometime this week. And, um, I want it, you're getting to know first. Hi, Lisa. I'm just telling everybody my announcement about some merch. And uh, so it'll just be for a couple of weeks. So if you're, if it's something that you're interested in, you may want to think about ordering as soon as you see that link. And um, they'll ship them out after the two weeks and you should get everything. I'm not doing anything. I'm just throwing it out there. I created it. I did a little bit of the design on the website to uh, make it more personalized to you guys. And I'm so so excited. So I think I should be getting hopefully my my shirt so I could share it with you first. <gasps> Michelle, I would love to make aprons and wouldn't that be so awesome? Paul and I have been talking about some different merch ideas. So yeah, these are just definitely a limited time, high quality and so soft. <laughs> okay, so my kids, hey Jonas, come here really quick. My kids love this this YouTube group the the ireland boys and they actually they're both wearing their merch today i don't know how that worked out but they are the funniest kids they like i laugh so hard when they are promoting their merch because they always talk about how so soft it is and stuff and so and they always say it's so clean <laughs> and i don't know why they every time they say it's so clean it makes me laugh because it's just so funny everybody's saying hi to you now so Jonas this week is going to have something at school called a Solo Olympics. So I don't know if you knew, but he is our now bassoon player in our home. And so they get to do a, um, a like a comp, it's kind of like a competition where they'll get some medals if they are doing great, but also it's kind of like a pass off. It's a, an audition of sorts. So it's exciting. And his is on Tuesday, mm -hmm. Tuesday at 4.30. So send your good wishes and, and like solo ensemble. Yes, we, you have that. It's kind of like that, but it's just for one person and they're going to get graded on it. So thanks for showing us your shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I have some plans. We're going to be doing something later, but I don't want to kind of reveal everything because I'm going to be vlogging it. So, oh, yep, yep. There's the, shirt, the merch. <laughs> so I'll be doing that soon with my shirt. <laughs> So I just wanted to let you guys all know that first, because I feel like if you're here on my live, you should be the ones to know first, of course. So it'll be coming up very soon, hopefully in the next week. If not this week, for sure next week, I would imagine. Hi, Jen the fam. Yeah, Ezra, he's such a cutie. Okay, well that, I understand. If you're not able to um, watch my live, you can always watch the playback. And in fact, I am going to be adding in the description box in the playback, the actual um, DIY mommies uh, tutorial on this. That way, if you would like to have more step-by-step, -step, that way you can see it. She's awesome. Happy Saturday to everyone. Yeah, he, he was so funny. Uh, let me know in the, in the comments if you saw the Instagram post I just took of Ezra about an hour ago. Miss Mount Shasta, hello. I'm so glad you're here. He is. He's a cutie. He's a, a lot of, he's got a lot of spirit too. <laughs> yeah, that sure is fun. They're, they are a fun group of kids. And it's funny when they say our merch is so soft and it's so clean. Cracks me up. 
Oh, did you love it? Oh, good. Yes. Oh, I, that's right. It's also on my Facebook. So if you're not on my Facebook or my Instagram, you should try checking me out there. I'm trying to be a little bit more active on Facebook and on Instagram for the How I Inez Rolls channel. And in the summertime, I'd like to um, put out more stuff on there. So I'm going to, I only have like a couple more weeks of work. And, um, oh, Tammy, that's a good question. Um, I have a couple more weeks of work and then I have a couple months off. So I'm going to be as creative as possible. Um, we are, um, we're going to do a meal. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to vlog it and we're going to put it up. Because I think it's just going to be some good recipes that you could just use at any time if you're making Mexican meals. Yes, yes. I was hoping Ezra wouldn't hit his brother. Yeah, I had to tell him to stop or they were already at it. Which is fine because I would rather them destroy cardboard than actually destroy the house or their actual lightsabers. <laughs> Summer again, I'm so excited. Right now I'm seeing so many people because um, we have a lot of friends whose kids are graduating. So I'm seeing lots of graduation pictures online or like graduating walks and all that fun stuff. We are, we love, I love making, I made one for Isaiah last year, actually a couple. I, <laughs> it's funny, right? Until they actually break something. <laughs> um, I make Isaiah, I made Isaiah a candy lay and we put money in it and it is it's so fun. But because of how hot it gets here, my schedule, how's my schedule? What do you mean by that, Miss Mount Shasta? Are you, talk, are you talking about my uploading schedule? I Because it gets so hot here that the chocolate can um, melt. So I'm not going to give it to our friends as kids on their actual graduation days, but maybe we'll just take it over for them as a gift. Oh, the Cubs just hit a grand slam. That's amazing. So in the summer, I'm planning to still do the Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads, um, Saturday lives, and I'm hoping to have a bonus video every week. Does that sound fun? So we're trying to figure it out, and I might even have some um, Paul how is your son doing on his mission? Oh, you know what? We get to hear from him every week and he is doing awesome. So not only do he, does he call us every week, we like do a video chat. Um, we also, he also writes like an email to like all of our friends and family. And so we get like double doses of him, which is just amazing with pictures. So I'm taking all of his pictures and I'm adding it into a chat books um, that will just, um, print up a book for him at the end of his mission of all of the pictures he gave us. So I'm hoping that like I can at least get all of those in there. But it's so great. If you haven't heard of chat books, I have information on usually all of my videos about starting one and it is amazing. You can link it to any of your social medias and it can be like a journal, like, like an ongoing journal. Or you could just create one because your phone is full of pictures and you don't know what to do with it, which is why I started. <laughs> That's okay, Tammy. My, usually my, when I write my name, it always says ones. And then I have to go back and fix it to Inez. Can't wait. I know. I'm excited too to try and, and, and I think some of those are going to be more vlogging. Uh, I'm, we, you know what, he just told us in our, his last um, email that he never, he doesn't regret going on a mission. He may have had some anxiety displayed before, and he didn't write this part, but he said he doesn't regret it one bit. So I'm so excited. He sent us a picture last week that showed us that he's in a place where part of his mission is a farmland area, and then the other part is kind of like a small town, and he is loving it. So... I imagine that Richmond, Virginia is a beautiful place. So I can't wait to maybe one day go there and see it and then he, he have him come with us and then see it through his eyes. So you guys, I'm so glad that you were here to come by and talk to me for a little while. Am I frozen? Yeah? Okay. I couldn't tell if I was frozen or not, but I'm so glad you all are here. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next.
Bye, you guys. Oh, thanks, James. That is so nice. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. Yay. Thanks, Miss Mount Shasta. Bye, James. Bye, you guys. Bye, Amy. Have a good, e or a good evening, a good weekend. Bye, Charles and Lisa and Mina. Don't forget to like the video. Bye, Anne and Teresa. Oh, you just got here. Maybe you can watch the replay. It should load up soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Jen. Bye, guys.